Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another Tales of 69 Minutes Speed Paint. This was day 6 with the theme of Flower Crown. Since this was done in June 13, 2015, the Flower Crown craze was in full blown hype. Like, uh, like this was the point when people were selling actual flower crowns in stores and stuff like that. So it was a theme that I really couldn't pass up on. And also it was day 6 so I was still very active in submitting on time uh, and participating in the entire challenge thing. So since my reference picture showed up very very early in the video, uh, we are doing Mikleo from Tales of Zestiria just because I was itching to draw him since day 1 actually but the themes kept on making it more appropriate for other characters so I was just like waiting quietly for a theme that, that I think would suit the Zestiria characters and the flower crown thing was almost perfect no it was perfect So, you know that Mikleo or Zestiria and the Abyss are my bias games, and Best Wife of 2016, Mikleo. <laughs> um, since him and Srey, if you're familiar with, if you watched Zestiria the Cross and played Zestiria the game itself, you know that Srey and Mikleo came from a very secluded village of the Seraphs, and which are pretty much like elementals. Um, Spirits, something like Mila Maxwell from Celia Celia 2. But the thing with these seraphs is that they are invisible to the eye of humans, except for those who are exceptionally gifted or has high resonance with them, like Srey or Rose. So, since they came from the secluded village that had only one human, that being Srey, um, they were very naive and innocent towards the world when they first left on their journey. So I felt like this picture was appropriate since I feel like Slay would be the type to make the flower crown and put it on Mikleo. And it was also something very plausible since I feel like they would be very curious and excited about this thing that humans do. So it was just a fun piece and I enjoyed making it. And of course I was happy to make it since this was a Zestiria piece and uh, I've been waiting. So I didn't really think much of what kind of flowers I'd put on Mikleo, so I just decided something that looks vaguely like petals and make it a really nice color and call it a day. Since I didn't know what flower would suit Mikleo actually. Like some other people really took, actually went hardcore and looked for flowers that had meaning and flowers that would correspond to the character. I on the other hand just wanted to depict Mikleo with flowers. I wonder who that might be. Who's that other hand over there? So that hand is obviously wrong. I know. Uh, I did come back to correct that like 3 to 4 hours after I posted the picture. And I really didn't notice at first. Um, and I posted it and that's it there. I submitted it. 3 to 4 hours later, I decided to look at the piece again. And then I noticed that very bad hand anatomy. So I very quickly fixed that up and then just added a, a reply to the original post um, with the edited picture. I don't know why I made that mistake. Well, actually, no, I do. Uh, I followed Mikleo's hand that's touching his own face and Without thinking, I copied how it looked with the thumb be being on the bottom since it's, it's his own hand. 
Except I forgot that that hand that I was drawing was raised, so the thumb should be on top rather. So, mm, <laughs> I made that mistake. Oh well. At least I noticed it. A little bit embarrassing, but I did notice it. I think that on a video where I'm actually drawing the stair characters, I would talk more, like a lot, like through the entire 11 minutes. But since I've talked so much about it in my other videos that I feel like I really don't have a lot to say anymore. I think I've mentioned before that I really love the dynamic, um, especially Mikayo and Srey, A plus best friends. Um, no, actually, let's edit that. I really like the dynamic of the entire team. Even though you can say that this area is a bit lackluster in terms of storyline. Uh, there are a lot of people that said they think the characters were forget forgettable, but to me, they were very quirky and unique, and I really love that cast. Like, if there's one thing that I know that Tails really does well is that they actually do their characters very well. Sometimes there are some characters that could be developed more, honestly. But I haven't really played a Tails game where I didn't like the characters, or at least I didn't find the main cast to be um, forgettable. I mean, really, that's because I didn't, I haven't really played all of the Tails games, or I haven't played like the other ones like Zisteria, Celia, Celia 2. But to me, the Zisteria cast was very not forgettable at all. To the point it became my favorite, my favorite game. So Srey here is very rushed, sadly. I'm sorry Srey. That's because he was a little bit optional. Um, I did draw him because I, he was a little bit essential to how the piece looked. But he was optional in the sense that if the time, if I checked the time and saw that I probably didn't have enough time to color him in, I could just hide him in, an, in another layer. So that's why he's a little bit less fleshed out or a little bit less detailed than Mikleo and that's also why Mikleo is solidly colored under Sri. Um <laughs> rather I mean he's fully colored under Sri's arm. Um by that I mean there's no blank space of color of colorless area. Um <laughs> that came out wrong <laughs> anyway <laughs> Yes, I also noticed that Srey's arm, the one in the foreground, is a little bit broken. And yes, I did mention that the hand is also broken. <laughs> I really did just shove him in there. Also, I don't know why at this point I decided to add more shadows because I haven't really done the background yet. 
and I'm pretty sure I was rushing since I knew I didn't have enough time. So really, I should have done the background first and then added the shadows, but I really don't know what I was thinking. Or maybe I was, really, I was just really not contented with how faded the shadows look. I don't know. And yes, originally, Miklia was supposed to be blushing, but I decided against that because I wanted it to be more fun and playful over a shipping picture. Even though I do want to do that eventually, but let's do that some other time. I also went back to Stray a bit and added more deeper shadows to fix the colors of his hair since it turned out a bit too reddish for my taste. And also, today's hair is dark, or rather, it's brownish, so the shadowing kind of helped a little bit. And here I realized that today's arm looks very broken. Uh, did my best patchwork to kind of fix it. Did not completely fix it, but it's something. So we are nearing the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like or maybe even subscribe. I do a lot of fan art and character designing on this channel. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. And see you around. Mm -hmm.